Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from Android.com. Apple released the latest version of iOS, iOS 13 at WWDC and since then it has been available as a part of the developer program for registered developers with Apple to go ahead and test it out. But since then, Apple has now made iOS 13 available as a public beta and you can install it onto your iPhone easily and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install the iOS 13 public beta on your iPhone. So I have my iPhone XS Max over here, but it works with all iOS 13 compatible devices. So let's go ahead and get started with this and install iOS 13 onto our iPhone. And afterwards, I will show you some cool features that are available on iOS 13 as well. So if you guys are excited for this video, definitely go ahead and smash that like button, hit on that subscribe button, share this video with your friends. And let's explore iOS 13. Alright, so before anyone asks, yes, the public beta is free and it's painlessly easy to download and install the public beta right onto your iPhone. Before we get started though, I want to make a quick disclaimer. This is still a beta as a part of the public beta program. So this version of iOS will definitely carry some bugs. This is not final software. So be mindful if you're installing this on your primary smartphone. I highly encourage you to make a full backup by plugging your device into iTunes so that later on after you install the iOS 13 update and if you don't like the experience, if it's too buggy for you, you can always restore back to iOS 12 to the state that your device was. So um, once that uh, is done, you can follow along with this and get iOS 13 on your iPhone. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is on your device, you need to go to beta.apple.com and then sign in to your account. And once that is done, you need to enroll your device to get public beta software right from Apple. So here in this page, you need to go ahead and select iOS. And once that's done, you can go down a little bit and go to install profile and go ahead and download and install this profile for your iPhone. Once the download is done, you need to go into settings and tap on the profile. You need to go ahead and hit on the install button, set in the passcode and go ahead and get the configuration file installed onto your device. Once that is done, your device will reboot once. Once your device has restarted, you need to go into settings, general and under software update. Now you will see the public beta version of iOS 13 being available for your device. So now you can go ahead and download this. This will take some time because it's a big update. So be patient. Once the download is complete, it will automatically go ahead and install onto your iPhone. And once the install is complete, you can go ahead and explore iOS 13 on your iPhone. Once the install is actually complete, you will have a few settings to run through and obviously here you get to enable one of the coolest features of iOS 13 that is dark mode. So that option is here when you set up your iPhone for the first time after installing iOS 13 and also there are a bunch of new wallpapers as well here on iOS 13. So now that we have iOS 13 installed on our device, let's go ahead and explore some of the coolest features of iOS 13. For me personally, one of the coolest things about iOS 13 is the addition of dark mode. This is something that we have always been requesting now with Android Q this time around as well as iOS 13, we are getting dark mode finally on our smartphones officially. With the dark mode, it completely changes the entire look of the operating system from light to dark. All native Apple apps feature dark mode support and third-party apps can use dark mode APIs to add dark mode integration onto their app. And there is even a scheduling function that you can set so in the morning your device will be light and at night it will be dark. Pretty useful. The next improvement I want to touch up on iOS 13 is the improvement in the Photos app on iOS 13. Apple really overhauled the Photos app by introducing new features that curates your entire photo library and shows a selection of your highlights from your life by day, month or year. 
The photos and videos are intelligently organized and it makes easier to browse through them. Apple has also improved the photo editing suite on the iPhone on iOS 13 and the photo editing tools in the Photos app have been revamped and to make it easier for everyone to edit your photos right on your iPhone without using any sort of third party tool on your device. Signing with Apple is another great thing that Apple introduced at WWDC that is also coming in iOS 13. Apple is adding the new sign in with Apple privacy feature that will give you a convenient and data safe way to sign in to apps and websites. So this is basically similar to the sign in with Facebook or sign in with Google button that we see. Here the integration is tied to Apple. The coolest part here is with sign in with Apple, you will be able to use Face ID or Touch ID on your device to authenticate yourself if you're using your iPhone. So that's going to be pretty handy. On iOS 13, Apple has also improved Siri's voice a little bit, so now she sounds less like a robot. So here's what Siri sounds like on iOS 13. What's the weather? Okay, here's the weather for Western Province for today. Tell me a joke. This one's for the kids. Why did the cow go to New York City? To see the musicals. What's Apple's stock price? Apple traded up 0.83% last Wednesday at $204.41. You like iOS 13? I'm pretty loyal to Apple, Andro Dollar. It's just how I'm made. Alright. With iOS 13, Apple is also introducing swipe to type. I know this has been a feature that has been there on Android devices for ages now. But we have to be thankful that swipe to type is finally here for the official Apple keyboard and I'm really excited to use swipe to type on the device to quickly get things done. On iOS 13, Apple has also improved Find My on the iPhone. With the new Find My app in iOS 13, it combines the prior Find My iPhone and Find My Friends apps into one and it makes it easier to locate your devices as well as your friends. With iOS 13, Apple is also introducing a new OS right for the iPad called iPad OS and that has a bunch of awesome features specifically for the iPad. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a special dedicated video featuring all the iPad OS features on the iPad. If so, let me know which model you would like to see here in the channel so that I can make that happen for you guys. Well, those are some of the awesome features of iOS 13 that I'm personally excited for. Let me know which feature is your favorite and I will also have a link to Apple's website down below where they list out almost all the features of iOS 13 that will be coming to your iPhone. If you are not going to be installing the public beta on your iOS device, you will get the update somewhere around September. That's where when we are expecting the final version of iOS 13 to drop. So once that's done, you can get the official version. But if you're impatient to try out the latest version of iOS on your device, you can go ahead and try it out. I've actually been beta testing iOS as well as macOS software for years now. And this time around, surprisingly, the public beta is quite stable. I mean, stable to extend where I would not even mind using it on my primary device but your experience might differ there are a few bugs here and there but uh, if you're if you're having a little bit of patience you can definitely live through it apart from iOS 13 I've also installed the latest version of macOS macOS can lean out right onto my MacBook Pro so I have that up and running as well let me know if you guys would like to see a separate video on that as well there are cool features that are coming to the Mac and I'm really excited for the latest version of Mac OS special. Well guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smash that like button and definitely go ahead and share this video with anyone who's using an iPhone. If you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and smash that subscribe button given down below. And if you're not following me on social media, definitely do so because that's where I share all the behind the scenes and updates. All the links are given down below in the description. Stay tuned to AndroDot.com for all the latest from the tech world. Until I see you guys in my next video, this is Barn.